Losing a pet can be very traumatic and seems to be a completely inevitable eventuality. Dogs and cats tend to have only a 10 to 20 year long lifespan which many consider to be too short to spend with them. What if you could increase their lifespans by another 20 years or potentially even more? Many would deem this to be impossible, but it's quite the contrary. Compared to increasing human lifespans, this is on the verge of becoming a reality for your pets. Learn how reversing or slowing down the aging process for you pets is possible in this video. Back in 2019, a research was started to find a cure for aging in pets and especially dogs. Dogs go through different stages in their life, just as people do, as is obvious to anyone who has watched their tired, white-snouted companion rouse themselves to go for one more daily walk. Now science is taking a turn in the field of DNA research, in the hope that research on how dogs grow and age will help us understand how humans age. And, scientists are finding parallels between the two species. Their research so far shows that dogs are similar to us in important ways, like how they act during childhood and their old age, and what happens in their DNA as they get older. They may be what scientists call a model for human aging, a species that we can study to learn more about how we age and perhaps how to age better. Most recently, researchers have found that dogs' personalities change over time. They seem to mellow in the same way that most humans do. The most interesting part of this study is that, just like people, some dogs are just born old, which basically means, relatively steady and mature, the kind of dog that just seems ready for all the activities that an older dog can perform. So how can we use that knowledge to our advantage, to come to the conclusion, that slowing down the aging of dogs is possible? Researchers sought patterns of chemical changes in DNA, a process called methylation that doesn't alter the content of genes, but does change how active they are. And as we already know, the faster your genes interact, the faster your aging process is. Slowing those genes down is already possible in natural ways and is currently the only viable way of increasing one's longevity in humans. One popular way of doing that is through intermittent fasting. The lack of food makes the body slow itself and thus the aging down quite a bit. But obviously, doing that with your pets is not really a viable option since they have different eating habits and making such a decision on their behalf isn't quite right either. Currently, they're doing a test on 30,000 regular dogs. In fact, you can currently apply your dog to take part in the study. Those dogs are all given experimental rapamycin pills that each attempt different approaches. In this current test, large dogs better test subjects for the pill. Dogs weighing at least 40 pounds will be eligible for an experiment with rapamycin, now taken by humans to prevent rejection of transplanted kidneys. The drug has extended lifespan in mice. A small safety study in dogs found no dangerous side effects, said project co-director Matt Keberlein who is at the moment a part of the University of Washington. The rapamycin formulations they have developed will be first in disease treatments with a novel mode of action to treat chronic life-threatening conditions. These conditions tend to appear for every aging pet and do a lot of permanent damage to the cells which, to us, appears as the aging process. Taking this out of the equation, could potentially increase the lifespan by 5 to 10 years already. Rapamycin, also called Sirolimus, was originally discovered in 1964 after being isolated from the BAC Tyrium streptomyces hygroscopicus in a soil sample from Easter Island, and was found to be an active metabolite with antibiotic and antifungal properties. It was later found to have immunosuppressive and anti-proliferative properties, which sparked a scientific interest in finding out about the compound's mechanism of action. The Dog Aging Project research team includes more than 40 experts from a variety of fields and institutions, who use the information submitted by participants and stored in Terra to investigate many aspects of canine health and longevity. The Dog Aging Project includes research in the following areas, genetics, microbiology, toxicology, canine cognition, age-related mobility, cardiology and a clinical drug trial of rapamycin. Human devotion to dogs drives projects like these. I'm very certain that the owners will gladly fill out surveys, send records and submit a dog's waste for analysis if they think it will help all dogs live longer, even if it won't help their pet. That's why I believe these kinds of pet rejuvenation projects have a lot of potential in the future. As a member of the Dog Aging Project Pack, Participants will be asked to complete an annual dog health survey, which will take 2 to 3 hours, and several other shorter surveys at around 10 to 30 minutes each that are spread throughout the year. 
A dog who is a member of the Dog Aging Project Pack may be eligible for a variety of other voluntary research activities, which could include genetic analyses, collection of biological samples, or participation in a clinical trial. By summer 2021, they are expected to have 60,000 pack members eligible for additional studies. The entire research and development team is dedicated to extending quality of life into advanced age for dogs and their humans. But not everything about this is straight up positive if you think about it a little. Especially compared to human longevity, where each individual is, at least in theory, able to decide for themselves whether or not they want to partake in extending their lifespan. Should people be able to make that decision for other living beings? I'm personally torn by the prospect of an anti-aging pill because so many abandoned dogs go without care. Just because we can, should we? Imagine having to put down dogs because they aren't going to die of old age and nobody wants them. This borders of straight evil. So what is your opinion on this topic? If you had a choice on whether or not you could make your pets immortal, would you do it? Even if you couldn't do the same for yourself and care for them after you're dead? I think this will be a possibility very soon and we'll need to start thinking about it. Please tell us in the comments below. I'd love to join in with the discussion you're having. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.